All right, it's a beautiful January day in Colorado, and I uh, just want to talk today about uh, trailer modifications. So uh, a couple things. Uh, first, you can see the uh, reflective tape uh, along the frame of the trailer. So I added uh, three pieces on each side, and then two in the back. And I uh, was actually a little surprised that uh, that they would stick. But uh, they did. I had to do a lot of cleaning, a little bit of WD-40 to get some of the grime off. Um, but it worked out real good. And uh, I think it makes me a little more visible at night than uh, just a couple of lights that I have. Uh, another thing I did is uh, added some new skid to, uh, to the front of the trailer frame. So, you know, a lot of times uh, I can stand on this tongue up here and it'll keep me out of the water or maybe just put me in a couple inches of water when I'm uh, launching or recovering the boat. Um, so, you know, if you're standing on that, it uh, can be a little slippery and this, uh, this no skid surface that I just ordered to roll from Amazon, um, that works real good. So a little extra safety there. Uh, the next thing is these straps. So these are uh, two inch, 10,000 pound capacity straps, uh, 10,000 pound working load limit. Uh, I ordered those from Lodi Metals, L-O-D-I. Uh, basically had them custom uh, manufactured. Um, so you know, I always keep uh, the one on the bow uh, on there if I'm, you know, if I'm on the boat, uh, if I'm doing some work on it or raising the mast or whatever. Because I, I always like a primary and a safety. So the primary would be uh, the winch on the trailer, the eyelet. And then uh, this is kind of the safety, the secondary, just to keep the boat from uh, from tipping back on the trailer. Because you just never know if you're not, you know, on level ground, uh, something bad could happen. Um, all right, the next thing is, uh, of course, the lights. So uh, I went ahead and put on these uh, LED lights to replace the incandescent lights. They're certainly a lot brighter. Um, really like them a lot. And, uh, and then if you're saying, hey, what, what's that thing on the back there? So that's something that I just made. Uh, I found out that uh, in a lot of places, if your load extends more than four feet past the rear end of your trailer, that you're actually required to have a red light uh, during hours of darkness. So you know, I built this little light. It basically runs on a single nine volt battery. Uh, you can see it pins in to the uh, the rudder pin and uh, you know I went ahead and added some reflective tape and this is all just basically built out of scraps um, but it you know comes right off and uh, it uh, so far has been been good um, so yeah so I like that of course you know at first I was thinking about trying to hook it into the, the trailer electrical system but that just seemed like a real pain in the butt so it just has a little on off switch right there for the 9 volt battery so again works real nice and then uh, the last thing I want to talk about from a trailer perspective is uh, these jack stands so again you know uh, keeping the whole trailer from you know it's one thing keeping the boat on the trailer it's another thing keeping the trailer level so you know I don't use them a whole lot uh, usually when I'm raising the mast I'll go ahead and put them back there uh, sometimes I leave the trailer overnight uh, in a parking lot at a boat ramp uh, with the boat on it. Um, so yeah, anytime I leave the boat, you know, out in public by itself, I always put the jack stands uh, underneath it and uh, crank up the tongue a little bit to put some pressure on them. And then, uh, you know, at home, of course, when I'm working on the boat, uh, I go ahead and put them under there as well. So, uh, so yeah, so that's it. So that's all my trailer upgrades.